Hey guys, it's Proton, and this is Subnautica. This is a creative mode, by the way, guys. I just said I, I was going to start building stuff, have some fun with it. And this is a little base I built really quickly. It took me about 20 minutes to build all together, but I mean, collecting certain resources that you don't just automatically get in creative mode, like these plants and stuff. You gotta go find them. Wouldn't found those. Took me about maybe an hour, so it didn't look to take too long. Sitting there stuttering over here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but yes, let's start. I'm gonna stay on the outside for right now, but I got these weird brain coral. Brain coral, yeah. And they're growing. They produce air, actually. Um, if you, uh, they shoot air bubbles out. And if you run into the air bubble, it'll give you more oxygen, so you can actually stay under water for longer periods of time. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is some red wart, some kind of weird red fern I found in a cave that's over there in that direction. And of course, the creep vines, because they produce light. I thought it'd be nice to have some different type of lighting. Um, let's see, there's the center. Uh, the, uh, what the hell? Every time you leave the area, like, if you change the environment at all by digging up stuff, it tends to, uh, somehow manage to grow back, I guess, which can be an issue, depending on if you build into, like, a wall and make a cave. It will basically respawn the freaking dirt, and you won't be able to get inside your base, and... You can't get your materials back because you can't get inside of it to kick stuff out. I uh, built over here because it's like near everything. It's near the base, it's near this creep vine, it's also near a cave that I'm going to show you that's under the water cave. I'll show you guys. But I mean, this stuff is pretty cool. Like, I really enjoy base building and stuff. You got all sorts of fish swimming around here. It's all full of fish. Love it. But, um, but yeah. It's near the beginning of the game, which is the little life pot over there. You can almost see it in the distance. The creep vine, a bunch of fish nearby, and a cave. So I thought, why not? So let's go inside, guys. Let's go check it out. Yeah, man. All right, so this is like the main entrance, I guess. That's what I use it as anyways, like the main entrance. I go in any entrance, really, as long as it's close by. And you, you walk in, you can, you still see the outside of the base, you see the fish swimming around right up there. You get to look at your plants that are growing right outside the door, or the hatch in this case. And hopefully those things will grow so you can start seeing bubbles. Be nice. Got a little vehicle creation thing up there, threw up there real quick. But let's see, right here, this is the first room. This is like the water filtration room that I built. Got three of those mugs up and running. Got a aquarium with some hoop fish because they got little holes in them. The one little hole, big hole, holes. Um, yeah, water filter room with a little aquarium. Now this is the main aquarium right here. This thing is pretty cool. I've actually hatched some eggs. They actually work. I'm actually currently in the process of hatching eggs as well right here. Two eggs. That one and that one. Um, the gasopods I've hatched, and I put two bladder fish in here, and they've they reproduce really quickly. There's like five of them in there, I think now. This suckers like multiply, and I'll go up there in a minute. I'm gonna continue on this way actually. Uh, this is where the ground came back for some reason, so it's got the little red grass sticking out, which is weird, but whatever. Game is buggy after all. It is. A preview but here's another hatch if I want to go out or in from the front really quickly I got the observatory right here with a little planter another planter there got a planter up there and a planter right there which is the uh, like my little greenhouse area right up there in that corner I just like putting plants in here because it looks kind of cool especially like that like like a tree growing in there and it's branched out you just kind of come out here Grab a fruit, nibble on it, nibble on it, nibble, nibble, and look at that little rabbit. And, ooh, that thing over there. I forget its name. I think it's cool. Um, spade fist. Fish. I can't talk today. Can't even English. Um, this is literally the same thing, but in reverse. Like the mirror image of it still has nothing in it. Just a little closer over here, so you can see some more stuff on this side. 
Yeah, look at all them fishies. Fishy, fishy, fishy. And there's another hatch to go out real quick. Uh, this is like my little science room, I guess. Um, a little desk right here. I can look in the center. There's some... I don't know what they're called. Purple. And then there's some red right there from the freaking grass. Some more purple over there. It's really nice looking. I like the kind of desk set up out there. It's, like, it's almost like a pure area. Um... Got my fabricator right here, my battery, you know, power cell charger. We got some lab counters for working. This thing keeps going off, making noises. There we go. Got a bigger fabricator here, some plants. I had it symmetrical, so there's a fabricator there, the advanced one, our modification station. It's basically a fabricator, let's be honest. But uh, another aquarium, just to study, I guess. You can look at them. That one over there, too. Uh, it was symmetrical, so we had uh, these right there, but I was like, you know, I need to go up. So I took those out, put these here. Um, this is also an aquarium room. I don't know if I want to put anything else in here, but if you look, you got little eels in there. And these things are huge, they're like monstrous, which they're in that cave. I'll show you. There's a little stalker right there. Look at them go. So cool. Only the best go in this aquarium right here. The other one's just kind of odds and ends. And I'll show you why in a minute. Don't look up, guys. Ooh, what? Oh, what? Okay. Cool. Um, let's see. This way, that buggy fish tend to swim through this somehow. Oh, right. Here we go. I got a little hatch here to keep water safely stored out in case there's a leakage of some kind for some reason. It's only one hatch door, so I don't do much, honestly. I just like it right there. So, this is the, like, a... Uh, I forget what it's called. I'm just gonna call it the docking bay for my sea moth, which is very pink and blue. Very pink and blue, which is my colors for YouTube guys. I got my fabricator for the sea moth here, so I can fabricate stuff for different vehicles. Pretty cool shenanigans. I can edit the colors on it, the name. I don't have a good name for it. If you guys want to help me name it though, actually. Definitely, like, leave a comment. Tell me what a good name for this pink monster right here, this pink and blue sea moth. Have you got a good name for it? Let me know. Put it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to nuke that like button and subscribe, guys. Like, seriously. All the help you can get. Little fishies everywhere! But yes, I already got my mods installed. I'm getting sidetracked again. Get up there. Up there, up there. There we go. Got some upgrades right here. Got four mods installed. I got the, uh,. Torpedo storage box, the weird grid thing where it shows a grid of the entire area around you, and somehow electrical pulse when something gets too close, you can activate it and it just like paralyzes everything that's too close to you. It's pretty cool. Not that I need it in creative mode, but it's fun to have and play with. You just run into a swarm of fish and just activate that mode. Hilarious. Back to my science room, the science lab, guys. Science lab. Alright, back to this giant aquarium. Get, get, get going. There we go. He's, no, there's like hardly any space for this. They need to like make a bigger room for this or something. I don't know. Yes. Let's move on. So, second floor is just the access point for this area. Up in here. Swim around with the fishies. You can grab one, like this bladder fish right here. That's mine. You can cook them up, eat them. Or make it water out of them, whichever you prefer. Ah, yes, that room. That's this beautiful place. Ready for this? Ready for this? This is the freaking greenhouse. Beautiful. I got my lantern tree over here growing. It hasn't produced very many of the fruit yet, but it's slowly getting there. It's beautiful, though. I got one here as well. I just put that there because I had an extra one to plant and I just needed to fill in some space. Uh, just different plants, really, for different things, all kinds of stuff going on here. Chinese potato. Probably gonna take that out with Chinese potatoes around for a bit. I need some marble melons. It's a small marble melon. I don't know what the difference between a big and a small, honestly. And one's big, one's small. So you can fit them in there, I suppose. Um, over here is a little hallway that attaches the two because you can't get in that room without going up to this side. 
And so I had a reason for that. Look at those fish. They're just like, look at that. They're looking at that lantern tree like, what is that? So, got a hungry something. I don't know what they're called. Sand shark, I think they're called. Yeah, sand sharks. I'm trying to get some fishies. But yeah, beautiful fish. You can look around, look at size. I'm like, oh, look at my base. Look at my filtration system. Got some light going on over there. All kinds of stuff. Stuffy, stuffy, stuffy stuffs. Beautiful. Um, but yes, this is actually my bedroom. Well, look at this beautiful place. So I decided to put the voxel shrubs in the small wall planters. Because, you know, it's interesting. And then, like, you can sleep, wake up, and be like, hmm, I'm going to look at my, my fish. I got sit right here, you know, you can like look at this fish right here, which are just random small fish, or you can look at the bigger fish. Yeah, look at those eels. I don't even know what they're called, but they're some kind of eels. And then you got the stalker, I got two of the rabbit rays. Those things are freaking awesome. I love the rabbit rays. I, I would definitely keep one of those as my pet. I love it. The eels, I like their coloration as well. But, um, yeah, I thought it was a pretty sweet idea to, you know, have this underneath so you can like look into your aquarium. It'd be cool if you could do it also above as well, but it doesn't work that way, sadly, because it has, like, sand and stuff. And you can plant stuff in here, too. So you can put, like, creep vines in there to produce its own lighting. It won't get very big unless you make the aquarium bigger, and then they'll get bigger. Uh, this is, like, my little uh, personal table. I can set a picture, apparently, which I don't know how to do yet because I am a scrub. I am a newbie noob. But that's okay because I'll figure it out eventually unless one of you guys know and then you guys... Put it in the comments. I have a, I had a guy, can't remember his name, I'll probably pop it up around up there. I need to figure out my left and my right when I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> but uh, I'll probably put his name up there. He keeps uh, offering to give advice and stuff. So definitely, man, leave that in the comments, man. Tell me some stuff. Like, I'm always willing to learn to get some feedback. All right, this is my favorite place to chill in this building. All right, like, besides, of course, the bedroom. But this here is my spot. This is where I chill. Like, if there's other people here and I built, like, a, for some reason there's other survivors, which apparently there are, if they could come down and live with me, I this would be my room. And no one's allowed in here. I'd probably end up building something that blocks them away from it if you can. This is my spot. I can have, like, some drinks here, some good old sweet tea and Coca-Colas or whatever the Subnautica equivalent would be. Sub-Cola. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sub-Cola. But, yeah, so you can just sit in here. Have a little table, sit down, enjoy a little meal, some sub cola, as we're gonna call it now. And just just look around and enjoy. Look at the creep vines in the distance, look at the fish swimming around everywhere, the sand shark that likes to wiggle around my base. Probably, probably should kill him and get rid of him. You can even look down, look at that. Look at that spade fish that just went by. Look at that guy. He came by to say hello. How you doing? But yes, guys, this is awesome. I love this. This like building stuff is fun. Like as much as I don't like being in the ocean in real life, being in the ocean in this game is pretty fun. There's a light bulb over there. Um, when you have your radio set up, you can actually uh, pick up like radio transmissions and stuff of other life pods that dropped and check them out to try to look for survivors and stuff. I've never found a survivor. Um, cool as it would be anyway. It would be pretty cool actually. None of the eggs hatched? Okay. So, you can like search for survivors apparently. Look at that lighting. I could probably just put these things scattered all over my base and wouldn't even have to use those floodlights that I have set up. That's like right in that corner outside. Um, but yes. It's pretty sweet. I love this. Like, this is sweet. Look at that. Look, look, look. They're making air bubbles now. Look at all those air bubbles. Just slurp those air bubbles up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really need oxygen though because this is creative mode. I can stay underwater as much as I like and not take any damage or nothing. But um, actually, let's take the sea moth. Can I access the sea moth from underneath? Yes, I can. <laughs> we just teleport inside. It's all good. All right, the sea moth. Which again, guys, let me know what we should name it. I don't know what to call it. I'm probably going to get a Cyclops as well, and I'll let you guys pick the colors. Alright, where is that cave? There it is, right there. 
There's this cave right here. And it goes pretty deep. This is where I found the eels too. And it's like a really cool area. I was hoping to pick these mushrooms. I really wanted to at least. But apparently you can't pick them sadly. And I was like man they would have been perfect. Because like they match my color scheme just perfectly. Like look at this. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Look at this craziness. Like, wow it looks amazing. Look at that guys. Look at this place. Look at that. Now the eels live in these things. That's an egg by the way right there. And they'll go in and out of that hole too. Um, I guess to check on their eggs and stuff. That's their home. There's the eel right there. They get pretty large. They're pretty huge. And apparently uh, there's bigger ones too. I don't know if it was like a bug causing them to look bigger or what. But yeah, like, see how he slithered right in there? Yeah. It's kind of creepy, not gonna lie. But it's also kind of cool in a way as well. The sun is setting, that's great. It doesn't matter, I'm in a cave. I can also turn on and off this light. I like the light on though. Uh, let's see, uh, I'll pick up that A. Actually, there we go, let's hop out of there. Beautiful. All right, all right, let's see. Eggy, come here. Crab snake, oh, they're called crab snakes, okay. Maybe they're not eels. I thought they were an eel. Okay. Now look at this beautiful freaking place. If I can get in my vehicle. There we go. Sea Maw. Some kind of sea maw. Whatever the name is, guys. Remember, don't forget the name. Do I have any more torpedoes? I think I shot them all. Nope. Ammunition depleted. But this is the um, the grid thing. Like, this looks it's like a really cool grid thing. You know, like looks around and stuff for you. Uh, this pulse thing. I don't know if it'll still work. I don't know. There we go. Whoa, where'd he go? Does it not affect him because he's electric looking? No, maybe it does. He fucking took off. I don't think it affects him the same way it affects others. Oh, well. That's cool though. Um, but yes guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to nuke the like button guys don't forget to comment the seamoth name as well like i need a name for this thing i can't think of anything hello Ooh, tipsy turvy thingy um but yes guys nuke the like button don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching